Hare Krishna, Bhagavad Gita 259 speaks about the importance of getting taste for spiritual activities. Vishyadhine Vartante Nira Syadina Rasa Param Nira Sopya Sa Param Dispa Nivartate. Though the embodied soul may be restricted from sense enjoyment, the taste for sense object remains. By seeking such engagement, by experiencing a higher taste is fixed in consciousness. So this experience of this higher taste is important in spiritual life. That uh, otherwise we will not be able to for long to engage in spiritual activities. That uh, taste is important. Now. Let's first look, how do we get taste for things in this world? In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says it's due to Redaya Darbalyam, that a weakness of heart, a weakness of identifying with this body and this mind and so on. Where does this weakness come come from? That this is explained in, uh, further in the Bhagavad Gita that, uh, that Krishna says, Dayate Vishyatum Sam Sangha Stesa Vajayate Sangha Sangyayate Kama Kama Koda Vijayate. It means Dayate, it starts with meditation. We meditate on things on this world with the idea of getting pleasure from it. Dayate Vishya Tumsam object in this world for sense gratification. That and then yeah then lust develops. Sanya Sanya te kama I I will enjoy. And then after that that and that karma called the vijayate because when the enjoyment comes it's not really what expected one becomes frustrated and many times angry when one becomes angry koda anger koda bhavati sama sama smiti vibra smiti bramsa vidunyasa udinyasa panashati it is said here, Krishna says, from this anger, complete delusion ar- arises. Anger and lust makes you identify more and more with the body. And that's a delusion, a bewilderment. And one loses one's memory that only the, en- only the strive for enjoyment comes. And one it's immersed in this frustration, this anger. So your intelligence is lost. You cannot understand your real position anymore. That's how the bewildering starts. The illusion in which we all live in this world. How to get, it, get out from it? It's why the same process for the objects of meditation are different. It starts also with dayate, meditating on spiritual objects. Yes. So, and how do we do that? That's explained in detail in the Bhagavatam. Sharnam, Kirtnam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Arsyam, Vandanam, Dasyam, Pada Sevanam. It, so, so it means the Sharna Kirtana Vishnu Smaranam Pada Sevanam, which is Arsna Vannam Dasam Satyam Atman Vednam, means hearing about Krishna. That's the first thing, hearing. That, uh, and then one can remember and speak about Krishna. Also, Pada Sevanam, serving the lotus feet of the Lord, means 
Deity worship. Hatsunam means Buddha, worship of the deities in so many ways to 16 hours ago. Vannanam, praying to the Lord. Uh, Sakyam, that making friendship with the Lord. Atmani Vedanam, complete surrender once and real self to the service of the Lord. This, this activities will fix the mind on Krishna. When one fix the mind on Krishna, what happens? Then one becomes free, free from lust, anger, greed, madness, illusion, envy, pride, and, and, uh, and so on. That, uh, but that process has to be done in under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual mind. Krishna says, Tat vini pane pane pare krishna sirte upadeksa jate kyam jana stat padakshin. One should take shelter of a bona fide spiritual master and cry from him, serve him submissively. That, uh, so that is the process. One must learn all these nine angas of devotional service nine ways of serving the Supreme Lord and meditating one's mind on Krishna under the guidance of a spiritual master. He will explain the disciple how to do that, how to apply that according to his or her present uh, psycho-physical condition. That's also concerned by, confirmed by the Bible term. Just research of the Dharma Shah vows to it that I receive Janma to the other hand. Punya Tirkana Shedana. One should just research here with attention, rapt attention, Srila Prabhupada says. And one should serve the Mahatma, one should follow his instructions submissively. And that, that will give taste for hearing the Bhagavatam. And when you get taste, what does Krishna do? Shrimpata Svakata Krishna Punya Shravna Krishna Rijanta Toya Bhatana Sidana Sruchitam. Then he enters the heart of the devotee and starts to cleanse his heart that from all impurities. And then one gets taste. Therefore, Nastavya Sapata Sunitya Bhagavata Sevya Bhagavata Tamatya Bhakti Bhakti Daik by regular attendance of the class of the Bhagavatam. And by rendering service to the few devotee follow his, follow his, following his instruction and his guidance, then one, all what's troublesome to the heart is disappears because that is preventing us to get taste for Krishna. Because that taste for the soul is natural. That is our natural state full of bliss and happiness. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.